In this video, I am going to go over how I've been using the free tool Google AI Studio to get around getting rate limited in ChatGPT and wasting valuable credits in tools like Ideogram. In fact, Google just released the 2.5 Gemini Pro for us to test on the beta branch, and it does a really good job working with prompts, which is what I've been having it do for me all morning. So let's jump into it to show you an example of how this works in practice. Okay, so here we are in the Google AI Studio. It's a very similar interface. If you've used ChatGPT before, this will feel fairly comfortable. And I'm over here in the Gemini 2.5 Pro preview because this is their most advanced latest model. It's got the best knowledge cutoff with January 2025. Although what we're doing right now will not have any real knowledge pulling uh, from an, a recent data set. But here we are. And uh, I told it I want to scale a single prompt into a set of prompts from one niche into five other ones. And then it shared its thoughts with me. And if you skim through this, it does tell us some stuff that makes it so that we know that it understands what we're looking for. And what I did was I said, wait for further instructions before you start any processes. But this is my example prompt. And I gave it the chase your goals, soccer, young unicorn girl prompt that we did in a previous video. And then in order to scale that into different niches, we ask for a thematically relevant scene and phrase for the following other sports using a similar feel. I want to see basketball, volleyball, golf, cheerleading, and gymnastics. So it captured everything that we need in order to keep the same kind of feel. And then we are changing the action, the equipment and attire, and the thematic phrase, which is exactly what we're looking for. And I don't know that ChatGPT would have been able to get all of this right the first time without more specific directions than what we gave it. So we have the original here, and then it goes and it changes these sets. It even bolds it so that we know what's changed. And here we are, we've got through all five. And ultimately I wasn't extremely happy with spirit sparkles and balance and brilliance, although they kind of make sense. I wanted something a little bit better. So I asked for a new one with cheerleading. And in, in fact, I provided that phrase. And I asked for it to use the more playful option up here that said flip for fun. And it made the adjustments. So that's good too. And I just asked for it to make it easy to copy paste. And we have five prompts that make a ton of sense using the same feel and swapping out things thematically in a very intelligent way. And the other thing I wanted to show you is this flash image generation preview stuff. It's not meant to be something that you can use in print on demand. So we have to think in different terms. You can use this to validate an idea and make sure that the prompt is at least capturing the spirit of what you're trying to do. I would never post this. However, it does give us a general idea of what the action might look like. So this will be a worse version of what you might expect out of a tool that is not ChatGPT. So let's quickly go through the outputs that we got from each of these images, keeping in mind that I just did this as a demonstration and we are not doing any major prompt adjustments or design adjustments. So here's what we got when we did the basketball one. Here is what we got when we did the volleyball one. Here is what we got when we did the golf one, and I think that looks pretty good. And here's what we got from the cheerleading one. And here's what we got for the gymnastics one. Okay, so I hope that you found that helpful. I think that this new Gemini 2.5 Pro model is going to do at least as good of a job as ChatGPT, if not better, when it comes to intelligently scaling prompts and using 
a lot of information to make good decisions in how to structure text. The image generator is not really that good. It's also not clear whether or not we can commercially use it, but it can give you a sanity check to make sure that an AI image generator that is not the 4.0 model might understand the prompt and do something close to what you're looking for. Anyway, I've been using this a lot in my workflows. I used it a ton this morning to make hundreds of prompts and I did it all without rate limiting myself on ChatGPT so that I could focus my requests in ChatGPT around image generation instead of making prompts. Now, if you wanna see the workflow that I've been primarily using to vectorize my images and go from prompt to fully process design more quickly, then check out this video over here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in that video.